Alright. Trying again. Yay. Then I get this one, and I pick it up, and I use it on him. I almost converted it. That would have been bad. Conversion. Potion. Use. Piss horse. Okay. Smack. Yeah. Get, 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 get. Uh, so I think I was right. Oh, shoot. So, doing that again. Oh, great. Convert. Mana. Piss off. Attacky thing. Kill. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. And go down here. Instead of clicking this, you click this. Oh. Potion, and then this, and then you attack. <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder if you can hit diagonally, because this one's right here. Aha! Some of you probably knew that already, but I didn't. So I feel smart. Sweet! Excellent, you've de demonstrated, not demolished, demonstrated confidence and resourcefulness in the face of extreme terrain-oriented peril, and should be able to use positional glyphs comfortably in future scenarios. Experiment with them enough, and you will find other clever uses. And I think, yes. Experience. Experience is a limited resource in desktop dungeons, and it's an and it is easy to fall behind in levels. Fortunately, a few tricks exist to help you gain extra experience, and the I'm a wall glyph is one of them. Okay. I'm a wall can instantly petrify any non-boss monster of your choosing, but you'll lose the experience benefits of the fight. As compensation, you'll earn an experience boost after your next fight instead. Petrify the goo blob and see what happens. Okay. Nice. The goo has become part of the dungeon wall, and your character now has the XP boost effect. Most over icons on the character portrait for more details. Fight the gorgon and reap your reward. Okay. Rewarded. I wonder how much the boost is. Okay, the gorgon's gonna kill me. Don't worry about the gorgon's next hit. As a fighter, you can cheat death once. Carry on fighting. Okay. But, but the Gorgon's still gonna kill me. They lied. <laughs> Final puzzle in this pack with, with deals with the value of combat experience and shows you how it's calculated. Calculates by killing you. Okay, wait. All right, I got that part. If you take on a wall, we use it on the goo. Got that part. So you go over here. Maybe you convert it? Let's see. Because that should give me seven more attack, but... But it didn't do anything. Okay, I can cheat death once. But now I'm dead. Why? I don't understand. <laughs> so we're going to say beta is beta. And you just can't do that yet. That makes sense. Wait, did I not get gold for my last one either? I didn't buy anything after positioning. Oh, that's depressing. This one doesn't give an award either. Uh. Oh, I have to complete the pack to get the 300. Oh. Oh well. We're gonna go kill us a goat. It's the last goat too. That's exciting. I think we're still just gonna do fighter. 
We can try wizard. No, goats have magic resist. We're not trying wizard. We're just gonna do fighter. Wait, what? All right, so let me see. Covers three random dungeon tiles with normal regeneration benefits. Seeks nearby enemies. So there's a trick with let me see, and I'll show it to you in a second. So let's take some damage from him, right? And let's say that, uh, actually got to use some mana first. All right, so as you can see now, dang it, I didn't want to level up. Perfect. All right. So we take damage from him. I'm not going to waste that thing. So you see now, oh no, I'm low on life and I'm low on mana. You use this and it's like, hey, it's basically a healing spell. And you can use it as many times as there are dungeon tiles and you can get a full heal. And if you have the I feel sick glyph, what that does is it makes it so that enemies that you're attacking won't uh, won't regenerate their health when you uncover things. That and let me see is like extremely powerful combo. And you can, you know, do the dungeon very easily if you have the those two together. So I'm glad I found that one because that makes the dungeon very easy. Not that it was hard before, but it might have been. That was dumb. Why did I attack that guy? Uh, where do I want to go? I guess we'll burn you. Win is right. Why didn't I just kill the mage? Whatever. Or the wizard or the warlock or whatever the heck it is. I'm not even paying attention to if I'm going to live or not. Passage. More gold. Oh, there's a monster back there? That's so cool. I didn't know there was actually stuff over there. I thought that if it was walled off, there was nothing. The creature including you has a level indicator on them. So, let's see if we can find a wall breaky one. Oh, I think I got rid of it. I think we got it and I got rid of it. Why would I do that? Why would I do that, guys? They obviously gave it to you for a reason. Foul Nemesis, it appears as though you have discovered my base of operations. I cannot suffer your presence and allow you to live. Regards, Sir Digby the Goat, who is totally a boss character. I love that name. I hate all the goats, but I love that name. We're going to see... Dude, there's totally stuff back there. What? No way. That was amazing. Thank you, level one meat man. That was amazing. Do I have a burn to raise or did I get rid of that too? Oh, I do. Okay. Oh, I just don't have any mana. Do, 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 do. Getting all the mana. Then converting all my stuff. So I do 15 billion tech. Sweet. Goat Horn achieved. Dude, I'm so glad I found that secret thing. That's so cool. I would have to, like, actually check that stuff now. Congratulations, you defeated the three terrible goat lords of the surrounding dungeons, and your kingdom breathes a collective sigh of relief. Unfortunately, not all is right with the world. As you take the spoils of your hero's dungeon exploits back to the kingdom treasure vault, you notice something horribly wrong. It's empty. Dude. I've been robbed. That's stupid. I'm glad I spent that stuff earlier. I would have been really, really mad. In retrospect, it probably wasn't a good idea to make that old couch in your spare bedroom the official Kingdom Treasure Vault. I did not see a problem with that, so my bad. But what's done is done. For now, 
you'll need to focus on finding a better source of cash security. Check the tavern for quests and other offers. Gold rewards will help you recover financially while you seek out the services of kingdom economy professionals. I'm really glad that I spent that stuff because I only have like 37 gold, so it's not a huge deal. 500 gold, sweet, so I can get the dwarves. Can I upgrade this? No, I can't. I wonder if I can't upgrade it because I don't have enough money or if I'm just not allowed to upgrade it yet. That is a good question. So, I don't think I can upgrade these yet either. Yeah, 650. Oof. Not, not able to do that. So, yeah. Guess we're going to go adventuring.